Today's video is part two of a two-part series. It all started with this piece of furniture, which my client bought, and then she wanted me to paint a few more pieces of furniture to match it. Problem was they were in a totally different style. So watch how I make these pieces work together. The top on this one is a solid surface material like Corian. So I worked in the last episode on making a foam marble top on all these new pieces. So I will link last week's video in case you didn't get to see it. But this week I am working on the sides. I want to put a little touch of that decoupage paper that's in the fronts of the, uh, I'll call it inspiration piece. So I painted these pieces in wharf and now I'm using a little bit of oyster on the inside there and I'm not worrying about getting it perfect. I just want a white background for my decoupage paper. And literally these were scraps left over. So you can use your scraps to make your pieces cohesive as we did in this case. So I'm using Dixie Belle's uh, clear coat in flat and I'm just uh, covering the whole surface and I've already measured those pieces. I've creased them so I can cut them and they don't quite go the whole way back as you'll see but that's okay. We'll fix that with paint. So you just press the piece on and then you cover it again in another coat of clear coat and let that dry. So that's how easy decoupage is. And that little touch is marrying these pieces together along with some other elements. So the hardware was all painted in the same color as well, which was just a flat black. But then I chose some other pieces for the handles because the original piece was a little bit fancier. So with this piece, I chose some other uh, little curvier handles to add, which you'll get a close up look at a little bit later. So I used silk paint, so it has a sealer built in. So I feel confident in taking my black wax and a small stencil brush and just going over the detail areas of the piece. I'm going around the handles and around the edges of the drawers. Of course, that top drawer is only one piece, but the separation makes it look like four small drawers. So I am going around all those details. So after I do a couple drawers, I take a soft cloth and I just rub it in a little bit and just enough to give it that impression of an aged look, which the original piece had the same treatment. can see what dimension that adds to the piece. It really, really adds to the color. I continue the process on the doors, getting the wax in all the details of those hinges and also those little corner embellishments. And especially in all of the little areas of the um, slats on this louvered door, 
Details are important, and it takes a few minutes to do this, but it's really not a big time-consuming thing. But uh, if you want the piece to be cohesive, you, you need to take the, the few minutes that it takes to um, just wax those details so everything looks the same. But wow, what a difference. It adds such depth and dimension to those doors. I repeat this on the other piece. The small corner piece, I don't put any waxing on those details because there really isn't a lot of detail on it. So let's take a look back. This was uh, taken in my basement and I sent them to my client to see if she wanted them originally. And again, this was the inspiration piece. And here's what we did to make the other pieces coordinate. What do you think? Think the challenge was completed? I've seen them in place and they all look great together. So I'm really happy with this um, set and just uh, take a look in the description box for the product link for my affiliate link. And also, if you want to help my small business, there's also my Amazon wish list link there too. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecoraltuna. Stay well.